Oh my god, my face look a mess. Well, as you guys know, my eyebrows not done on none of this. This is a real video. Um, I had my wisdom tooth pulled out, so my jaw is still swollen. So it looks like you know you could barely hear what I'm saying. So I hope y'all can hear me clearly. Welcome back to my channel, and let me tell y'all what's been going on. Well, long week, as y'all can see, I had my wisdom to pull. But besides that, my son, Elijah, had to go to court. And during his court hearing, I just want everybody's opinion about how they feel about it. Did I handle it the wrong way? Or should things be have been dealt with a little bit different than what I dealt with or whatever? the case may be but um my son went to court because now he's 13 years old he's my last son um he's actually my baby boy and he went to court because he was missing some days out of school never been as in trouble with the school district at all as far as him like you know um fighting or misbehaving or whatever the case may be it was literally just him missing days and being late. So I get it. You know, the school has to do what the school has to do at the end of the day because of the fact that all kids should be in school. And I totally agree with that. So in the process of me and him, um, and let me go back to the story of how it happened because it's definitely going to be a part two of this. So y'all going to have to stay tuned. But okay, so when it first came about, I got a letter to meet with this woman her name is Cameron honestly her name is Cameron she wanted to meet with me she called me I was at work um I'm like okay you know it's fine you want to meet with me and my kids whatever the case may be at that time it was me Aaliyah which is my second daughter the third child and Elijah which is my baby boy and my oldest daughter which is Jasmine excuse the um the noise of the ambulance because I'm like literally parked across the street from the hospital. So, waiting on my kids to get out of school. So, in the process of this, um, I'm like, okay, you know, what's going on, whatever the case may be, whatever. So, she's basically telling him, like, you know, you need to go to school. If you don't go to school, you're going to get locked up, etc. I'm like, go to jail. I mean, maybe it's me. Y'all could comment, like, and subscribe, and let me know how do y'all feel about this situation. I feel as though as a 13-year-old black male in America, already being taken down by the system, you basically telling my son that he's going to jail. No other alternative, not that you could make it, you know, ask for a mentor, see what's what, how things will go, mm -mm 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 -mm. what you want to be when you grow up, none of that is based on... If you don't attend school, you're going to go to jail. Because that's basically what happened to people who don't go to school. So I took it in. It wasn't disrespectful to her. I was like, okay, you know, this is what it is. This is how you feel. Okay, if you guys don't comply with this or whatever the case may be, then, you know, if you miss any more days, unexcused then we'll go to court so i'm like okay whatever it's gonna take because elijah is one of my sick babies what i mean by my sick babies i mean every little thing hurts him honestly like he wake up he have a headache the whole world has ended you know and he honestly get it from his father his father cannot when i tell you cannot deal with pain he cannot deal with pain and he actually is injured himself so long story short so oh my god my mouth is killing me y'all so um I'm like, all right, it is what it is. So, months down the line, she calls to me. And she's like, oh, do you mind if I go and meet with Elijah just to see how he's doing? I mean, this is a, now I'm telling like, this is like a social worker checkup because now you want to go to his school and see how he's doing. But me as a parent, I have nothing to hide. I have four kids, you know, four grandsons. It is what it is. You know, you want to go see my kids? I have nothing to hide. Go see my kids. So she goes up to the school. She goes to see Elijah. So I'm like, okay. I get home from work. I'm like, Elijah, how was your day? He was like, it's fine, Ma. And I know him. You know what I'm saying? You know your kid. If you're a mom and you close with all your kids, you know when your kid is not okay. So I'm like, Elijah, what's going on? 
he was like nothing i'm like you could tell me you know what's going on so he's like my you know i I felt really uncomfortable with this lady keep coming to my school the way she was talking to me she showed me mug shots okay mug shots who does that basically i guess trying to put fear in him to go to school but mug shots like what was the purpose of the whole mug shot situation so now i'm pissed so then he was like, basically, she was telling him, like, you know, if you don't continue to go to school, like, he's not going to be nothing. You don't know where he's going to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, the point is, you you putting something in his head that you shouldn't be putting in his head. That's how I felt. So, I'm listening to him, and he's like, yeah, ma, I'm, I'm feeling like, you know, I did something bad. I'm like, you ain't do nothing wrong, but not go to school. Literally, he was home. I know where he was at at all times. My son does not stay in the street. He's not gang banging. He's not doing none of the above. You hear me? He's a good kid. I teach my kids to be respectful. I teach them to, you know, respect people the way they want to be respected. You know what I'm saying? So, now I'm feeling some type of way because now I'm like, okay. So, she went out of character to, to, to tell you how what you're going to be when you grow up. Like, she's you like she's your parent and that's a problem so i clearly she even brought that up in court you guys so she tells the court you know um how i felt about her and who i all tagged in my email because i didn't want her no longer talking to my kid don't go back to my kid's school if you're gonna make her feel like that don't go up there you know damn if you do damn if you don't but let him make that decision in life that's not your choice to do and i didn't feel as though that that was the appropriate thing to do is to show him mugshots about kids who are like he's a, a misbehave and actually they addressed him as a misbehaved kid in school i mean at the court I'm telling you guys part two is gonna go down part two going down so i'm emailing her telling her how i feel so i guess she took upon herself like okay well if she didn't like the way i handled the situation i'm gonna um oh because i addressed her i said i don't think that that was an appropriate thing to do is go to my kid's school and make him feel like that because this at the end of the day i'm his mom when he when my kids hurt i hurt you know what i'm saying so i took it like that so i had to switch the camera around you guys because my mouth i'm telling you it hurts so bad but I had this event to tell y'all what was going on in my life. <laughs> Hope my lips are okay too. They not trapped. I don't know what's going on. So I'm studying like, all right. So I'm like, do I need to get a lawyer? Do I need to do what I need to do as a parent? Because you basically went up to my kid's school, made him feel like that because he missed days out of school. That now he's attending school. It just doesn't add up to me. So, any of you guys who had this problem in Elizabeth, please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Because my heart was broken when I went to that courtroom. I wish I could have recorded it in there, but of course, you know you can't. But um, I'm going to tell y'all what happened anyway. So, after I did all of that, she still wasn't happy. So, you know, we, a situation came about, so we had to leave out of town. And um, she brought that up. Okay. Can't win with this woman. She just has it out for my son. It's just like a little black boy in America got to deal with something like this. Sad. It's heartbreaking because as a mom, for any boys that's out here. I don't care if you black, white, Latino, whatever. A lot of us don't have that mother and father support or that family support to back you up. It hurts me to know that the system the system will get away with doing whatever they want to do to you if you allow it. So I was done up. I was like, I'm I'm too thrilled with this, whatever the case may be. In the process of all of this, you guys. I had to have a wisdom tooth removed. And he had a court date. So I said, okay, let's go to court. 
first my husband was like, nah, I don't want to go to court. Because he, you know, he don't like the court system either. He know they could be either on your side or they could either be with you or against you. Period. You know, Tupac said it the best. If you can't look me in my face and tell me how you feel about me, then you could just judge me by how I look. And I felt like my son was being judged on how he looked, even though he wasn't dressed up. I mean, he's 13. He was he was dressed like, you know, I just got out of school. He don't know nothing about the court system. And I never thought my kid is 13 would ever have to go through the court system. You know what I'm saying? So seeing that, it broke my heart. It made me angry. It made me upset. It made my heart break. Because I'm a hardworking woman. I try to do the best that I can with my kids and do the best and show them the best. But that, it just broke my heart. So, I'm not going to give y'all all of this in one. I got to do part two with y'all because part two just, this is what I'm going to voice and see if y'all can voice y'all opinion on how y'all feel about the situation and see what's what. But um, a 13-year-old boy is sworn in <laughs> at a family court basically to defend himself. Sad. And it was my kid. Part two. Stay tuned.